It's just about that time again. Let him know, Spike. YouTuber things. Now listen here. If you want Spike to eat this month, you subscribe to the channel. He ain't getting a meal until 650,000 subscribers. Do it for Spike. I'm just kidding, I would never. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, with some very exciting stuff here. Two hours ago, at the point that I'm recording this video, we're having a maintenance break to release some changes to rank point and an optional update with fixes and balance changes. Larry and Lori, your time is up. Truly, Larry and Lori's reign, I think, might be finally over. They were a menace for way too long. And if you truly want to know just how dominating they were, make sure to stay tuned to the channel. There's going to be a video where you'll see in full flavor. But you guys already know the list. We went through it a few episodes ago here on the channel. They look pretty dang good. There's a few that are a little bit questionable, such as Leon, wink, wink. And I mean, the Poco buff, where's the nerfs? I see you guys out there. But in all seriousness, I really think this balance change list is going to shake up the meta in a nice way. I'm really, really excited about some of these buffs, much like Sam, one of the most enjoyable brawlers to play in my personal opinion. Hoping to see him as a decent tank in this meta moving forward, as well as maybe be a sharpshooter, putting an end to kind of the reign of like the Pipers and Bells and Mandy's, you know, we'll see. But setting aside the balance changes, we have some very significant changes to the ranked game mode that is very very, very exciting. The very first change, solo players facing teams now receive ranked points as if they are playing against similarly ranked players. This is huge. Look guys, I've ingested my fair share of hours on Corey's struggles to masters. If you guys didn't check that out at all, or if you guys aren't aware of Corey's channel, I hope you are. You should be. He's an amazing content creator. Love the guy. But man, the torment that I saw that dude go through just because of the point elo up at higher ranges, it was really ridiculous minus 170 plus 30 plus 10 i think i saw plus two at one point for him I felt so bad so very happy about that so though i think is really really important to maximize on they got to make sure that you are comfortable heading into solo ranked gameplay because you don't want to always have to have the commitment of matching up with a teammate to go into ranked game mode you know what i mean you want to have fun on your own i was a big allure of ranked way back in the day so i'm happy that they're kind of getting in on that but along with that they're also making some fixes to help out with some e low things wins now always give a minimum amount of ranked points and maximum amount of ranked points gained for losses has been reduced as well as made general changes to ranked point distribution to reduce inflation very very good we'll see how these changes mix up ranked seeing how it feels as we're standing now i would love to hear what you guys have to say about ranked are you enjoying the game mode i personally have been really really enjoying it i actually got to uh, legendary believe it or not but yeah i kind of enjoy it however moving along to some other bugs fixes they ended up fixing that glitch with the trophy escape new game mode where if you kill each other simultaneously you get this massive amount of trophies i believe at its peak the biggest screenshot that i saw was plus 40 trophies ridiculous and then the other two are just some smaller bugs corrected as well pretty dang decent balance change and maintenance break overall. I'm a big fan. Love these. Love these. But now I think it's about that time to set our sights on some pretty dang important stuff. And that is the second brawler being released in this update and when she is coming to the game. Melody. Oh, I cannot wait for this brawler. She seems so much freaking fun. I know it's really, really hard to believe with the most recent changes to the Brawl Pass seasonal durations, as well as just how hectic it's been inside of Brawl Stars with crazy content coming out, much like the community event that just got done. That that we literally only have nine days and 19 hours remaining in this season of the Brawl Pass, season 24, before we get into season 25. And as you guys know, this is probably the biggest, if not the biggest indicator as to when the next brawler is coming out, the secondary brawler of any update, if there are only two at least. The only specific notes that we got from the Brawl Talk as to when Melody should be released, and that is arriving in late March, which late March can mean a lot of different things guys but at the end of the day whenever it comes to speculation and theory crafting and stuff like that inside the brawl stars community it's all about repetition scheduling what are the routines of the brawl stars dev team when it comes to releasing things and most recently with the last like two updates whenever they release a brand new brawler it's in tandem with the secondary season being announced with the brawl talk and seeing that we're getting very very close to season 24's end she is right around the corner and much sooner than i think some people think 
think, you know, dude, stuff goes fast in the Brawl Stars community, I swear. And by much sooner, as you guys know, a newer addition to these new Brawler releases is we get early access for these Brawlers for people who want to support Brawl Stars and get the new Brawler early, which comes seven days before the official release. And most of the time, whenever an official release for the Brawler comes out, it comes in tandem with the new Brawl Pass. So of course, with this in mind, with nine days and 19 hours remaining, Melody should be dropping this Thursday for her early released offer March 28th. Guys, only three days away. So then one week later, her official release will be on Thursday, April 4th with the release of the Brawl Pass. And the only other important bit of info I'd say about Melody is the price of her early access offer. We had an example of Chuck's price being $19.99 being a mythic. So I'm assuming Melody being a mythic, she's going to be at that same exact price point, just so you guys know for this Thursday. Moving along, moving along. I would not blame you if you didn't pick this up, seeing that we have been in the midst of one of the busiest <laughs> seasons inside of Brawl Stars. So much stuff has been happening, but we had some really important news coming out here a few days ago with a brand new Supercell Make campaign that very well could be giving us an insight as to what a potential new future update might be. As you can see here, fire emoji, new Supercell Make campaign. What already? Yes. It's the summer of fire and ice campaign. Create summer themed skins concepts for amber and mr p and have the chance of getting your skin in game pretty dang exciting another campaign where there's two brawlers being featured you gotta love it dude let's freaking go for two pretty dang cool brawlers but i think they chose these brawlers based off a theme that they're approaching this campaign with a specific theme ice and fire we have amber the embodiment of fire and mr p ice obviously penguin you know so i would say it's been quite some time since we've had a supercell main campaign campaign that translated to a future update, basically the theme that embodies the Supercell Make campaign. The Brawl Stars dev team in the past for a lot of these first Supercell Make campaigns, they wanted a skin that would fit a future season of the update or the Brawl Pass. Some of them were really telling, much like Nita's Summer Splash and Colette's Lost in Time. So again, it's been a while since the Supercell Make campaigns have given us any noteworthy information about a theme for a future update, but hey, you never know. Fire and Ice for possibly this summer update. Some sort of themes that might match with that for these skins to be released during that time, right? They're making the campaign for that summer update. We are at the early stages of the campaign, currently in submissions, being opened, but they close in 17 days and 19 hours. So make sure if you're just hearing about this now, you only got a little bit of time to start creating. But yeah, can't wait to see the results of this. The most recent campaign was pretty dang hype. We had our winners announced being Samurai Desert Jean, as well as Nightmare Sandy, kind of dark ominous themes, if you ask me. Cannot wait for those to be added in the game. I wonder where that's gonna fit in. A lot of really fun and exciting skins to look forward to, man. Moving along, as we already touched on here in this episode, we had all the balance changes arriving here this morning. However, very bizarrely, a brawler was noticed by some individuals inside the community getting some changes that weren't announced in the patch notes. Now, I have no idea. I cannot confirm this, seeing that I can't physically go back to the previous build and confirm how many shots it would take to charge up Leon's hypercharge, but he may have gotten a soft nerf, and maybe you guys can help me confirm this, but I saw this tweet here this morning pop up, testing out the balance changes. We have the flame learning anime art saying Leon apparently got a nerf to his hypercharge rate that nobody noticed. It went from five full attacks at close range to seven. I think it's like six full attacks plus like a little bit more than that, making it rounding it up, you know, seven. But it very well could be true that Leon might be a little bit less strong here moving forward into this meta. Again, you guys should help me confirm this if this is true or not. It's going to be hard to, but if this is the case, I feel like the major thing that really drove Leon as a very powerhouse brawler inside of this meta, especially in ranked, is the fact that his hypercharge is probably the best, if not one of the best hypercharges in the game right now. It's just so swingy. It's very game deciding. You get your hypercharge with Leon from poking from far distance. You can change the entire course of that game in one gameplay mechanic choice that you want to do. Pretty dang crazy. So we'll see if this does have any impact, if it is indeed a thing here for Leon. Now, speaking of the balance changes and the maintenance break overall, 
as you guys know, there was also bug changes or fixes being released in this patch notes and called this a Ray Grievances segment of this episode of Pearl News. But I feel like there are still some bugs lingering here and one in particular that I had to get off my chest and make sure that at least some other individual was having a problem with this. And I don't have proof because I don't just like always screen record my screen whenever I'm playing games and stuff like that. But do you guys ever have with Miko where you're supering, right? And you're about to land on an individual. Right when you land, you're spamming your attack button so you can jump and avoid any damage and get to your damage output that you stick the landing and you cannot attack. You're spamming your auto aim button, but nothing works. You're stuck in place, full ammo, nothing happens. That can't just be me, right? Please, someone help me. Has this happened to you as well? It's been driving me crazy. I have been playing Miko quite a bit more often as of recently. I think he's got a fun little skill cap ceiling to try to test out and get good with, right? And I really enjoy those types of brawlers, but dude, this has happened to me one too many times to just like not acknowledge anything inside of the community. No one's talking about it. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> and then ending this video off on a little bit of a fun note here. We have a tweet from CLB. I had to bring this up again. I absolutely enjoyed documenting the changes that happen in the Chinese version of Brawl Stars compared to our version of Brawl Stars, just how different of a game it appears to be. Every single update, I feel like the game just changes so dang much from our version. Again, if you guys want to see a video of me highlighting all the craziness with the Chinese version of Brawl Stars compared to ours, make sure to let me know. But this one really takes the cake if it is indeed true. We have CLB once again saying Brawl Stars China has just announced that they are planning to possibly add proximity voice chat in the game. Would you like to see that in Global Brawl? Heck no! Bro, can you imagine this? Oh my gosh, that would be awful. I'm an enjoyer of sound when I play in Brawl Stars. I always play with game sound, but dude, I would be on mute every single time I'd be playing Brawl Stars. This just cannot happen in the game. The absolute mayhem that would transpire with this happening would be absurd. It would literally destroy the game. I'm quite certain it would. I wonder how that's going to go for the Chinese version of Brawl Stars if this is true. I'll have to keep you guys up to date on if this does actually come to the game or not. But as you can see in the screenshot, we have here some volume or like speaking going on here so my gosh dude oh sounds scary very very scary but yeah man hope you guys enjoyed this episode of brawl news thanks for sticking around with me hanging out for a little bit here in this episode we'll be talking super super soon adios and take care